Hey guys, it's Amanda. Today's video isn't one I would normally do, but I just couldn't help myself as I have a fascination and also a terrifying fear of sharks. <laughs> Honestly, I love the beach. We go all the time. Well, when it's warm out. And I love it, but you won't catch me in the water. Nope, no way. In my mind, they're just waiting for me to dip my toe in that water so they can get me. <laughs> now, I'm very much aware that sharks aren't out to get us. However, Jaws scarred me from a very young age, as I'm sure it did many people, and I don't think I ever recovered. <laughs> but anyway, apparently there's a tiny island that is a hot spot for shark attacks, and nobody knows why. So that's what we're going to watch right now. Have you ever heard of an island that is regularly attacked by sharks? For many years, people living there haven't been able to find a way to stop this. Neither can they understand why sharks come there so often. So, what's going on? Why do these predators keep bothering this specific island while completely ignoring the others in the area? Let's go to this mysterious place and try to find out. Try to find out. July 22nd, 2015. The ocean waters near Reunion Island were clear and transparent. The western part of the island, St. Lou, had always been a great spot for surfing. But on this pleasant sunny day, one of the locals almost lost his life. A six-foot bull shark appeared out of nowhere. Once right next to the shore, it suddenly charged at surfer Rodolf Ariagui. His friend, doctor and professor of geography at the University of La Reunion, Erwan Lagabriel was nearby, talking with two other surfers at that moment. That moment. Suddenly, they heard some noise. Realizing that it was his friend, Lagabriel rushed to help. The shark was 65 feet away from him. He said that all of this felt like some kind of a horror movie. He rushed to Ariagi, even though he didn't understand what exactly had happened. At first, Ariagi's He what? He rushed to him. I'm all about helping friends and family. But did he even know what was going on at that point? Like, was the shark still there? Was he just jumping right back in with him? <sighs> Didn't know about that. His body was surrounded by white foam. It then began to turn pink and then red. La Gabrielle said later that it had been one of the scariest things he had seen in his life. It had been one of the scariest nitly. When he swam closer, the shark had already been gone. La Gabrielle knew that in most cases, a second attack doesn't happen. So he hurried to help his friend. It took them some time to get back to the shore. When La Gabrielle pulled his friend onto the beach, he immediately made a tourniquet from a surfboard leash. After that, Monsieur Ariagui was rushed to the hospital. Fortunately, this story has a good ending. Although the 45-year-old man lost his arm, he still survived. But he was one of the few lucky ones. Phew. Because this horrifying story is just one of dozens that happened on Reunion Island in recent decades. Reunion Island is one of the regions of France. It's located right near Madagascar, together with its neighbor, Mauritius. They're both located at the same latitude as Australia. These two islands are very similar. They have almost the same climate and natural conditions, similar languages and cultures. But there's one huge difference between the two of them. Sharks. In Mauritius, people can relax and have fun in the warm waters of the Indian Ocean, swimming with scuba gear and watching dolphins. Meanwhile, on La Reunion, locals are afraid even to put their fingers in the water. But why is that? Unfortunately, Reunion now has a strong reputation as a shark island. By 2018, 56 attacks had occurred there. From 2011 to 2016, the number of these cases accounted for 16% of the worldwide shark attacks. The number of these cases are warning signs everywhere on Reunion. Local citizens and fishers have begun to discuss the options of large-scale sh- So there's signs actually saying, stop, sharks. So don't get in the water. Duh. That's like just ignoring a stop sign or a stoplight and thinking, nah, that's all right. It's only a little risk. No, it's not. There's things out there with big teeth that want to bite your limbs off. Just stay out of the water. <laughs> also, a few times this video has like repeated itself, which is super annoying, so I do apologize for that. 
shark trapping. The authorities forbid people to swim almost everywhere, except for a few more or less safe places, like, for example, a coral lagoon. And still, any fisher or scientist knows that sharks can easily get inside these coral rings. In other words, locals and tourists can't feel completely safe anywhere on the island. Safe anywhere on the island. The last shark attack happened in the 1980s. People come here to relax, and everything is perfectly fine. So the question is, why in the world is La Reunion so unlucky? Dr. La Gabrielle, the hero I mentioned before, set himself the goal of explaining this strange phenomenon. His study showed that over the past 30 years, the probability of a shark attack on Reunion had increased by 23 times. 23. And in 9 out of 10 cases, it turns out to be a bull shark. If you haven't heard about it, this creature looks exactly like what you would imagine when you hear the word shark. It's one of the most popular species and the one that you often see in different movies and cartoons. These sharks live in tropical and subtropical waters in all oceans. Most often, they're found, yeah, you've probably already guessed, in the southern waters between Australia and South Africa. This place is even nicknamed a shark highway because these predators really, really like to chill around there. This is also one of the most aggressive shark species, and it's very dangerous for humans. Unfortunately, it's also very tolerant to different water salinity, which means they can basically swim even in fresh water and be totally cool with it. See, nowhere safe. But why do all these reunion island attacks happen so often? Well, there are many theories and many different factors that might play their role in all this. Mark Surya, a researcher at the IRD, the French National Institute for Research and Development, decided to conduct a study together with his team. They spent three years trying to collect data on 45 tiger sharks and 38 bull sharks living in local waters. The National Research Institute of France supported this study. It was also funded by three research foundations, regional, national, and European. That's when you know that the problem is serious. You're not a dish. You're a man. Most name brand bars and body washes you rub on And now, here are the main theories developed by Surya's team and La Gabrielle. The first one is excessive fishing. Experts suggest that long-term fishing and catching small reef sharks, which competed with dangerous sharks for food and territory, eventually led to these dramatic consequences. Unfortunately, when predatory bull sharks ran out of food, they just had to go looking for it near the coatory bull sharks ran that out makes of sense, sharks. Though. Surfers on Reunion look like sick, weakened fish, and therefore an easy meal. Also, while in Mauritius, surfers tend to hang out near sandy beaches. On Reunion, they choose places where waves break at coral reefs. But this is exactly where the sharks choose to search for food. So, yeah. The second possible reason is muddy waters. Bull sharks like such conditions very much, and although there are no natural places like these on Reunion, the reason could be the construction of urban areas. Muddy fresh water gets into bays from cities. This water attracts sharks, and this is where the attacks take place most often. But then we can ask again, why not Mauritius? Urbanization is also in full swing there after all. There are many places in Mauritius where sewage waters flow into the ocean. Well, then we can conclude that this is not the only factor. There have to be others. For example, there is an active volcano, Piton de la Fournaise, on Reunion Island. Thanks to this beautiful volcano, there are rich flora and fauna on the island. And this could be great if it didn't attract too much attention from predators. Because of the volcano, the shores of Reunion are less steep, which makes it easier to swim closer to the coast. And sedimentary rocks that get washed away from the slopes of the volcano can attract bull sharks. As we already know, these guys love muddy waters. There are some other theories. For example, La Gabrielle suggests that attacks may be connected to an increase in the shark population. Or maybe that's because these creatures become more aggressive during mating periods. Some people assume that all of this could be Mauritius's fault because they banned catching and selling sharks for meat. But Surya and other experts strongly disagree with this. Not many people on both islands bought this meat to make any significant difference. 
Chaplins bought this meat. The situation caused a lot of tension on reunion. A big part of the population now supports the idea of catching sharks on a large scale. They also oh. built some underwater fences near the island, and the maintenance of these fences costs a million dollars a year. It may seem pretty extreme, but million. drastic times require drastic measures. But despite all these terrible stories, in general, sharks aren't nearly as dangerous as we think. They almost never attack divers, unless a person provokes them. Experienced divers often compare sharks with stray dogs. These animals shouldn't be feared, but should be respected. Anyway, let's hope that La Reunion will be able to solve this problem, and people will be able to swim in its warm, beautiful waters again. So, I found that video really interesting. I just, I still can't get over all the signs, like no swimming, sharks, and people are still getting in the water. Just no. No. <laughs> Be safe. <laughs> no. And also, I said, I think in 2022, it was something like 60-ish shark attacks, like worldwide, with like less than 10, I think, being fatal, which in the grand scheme of things is not that much, is it? I mean, I think I actually read somewhere that you were more likely to be killed by a lawnmower than a shark. Like, that is pretty crazy. The chances are very slim. I mean, really, though, we're going into where they live. It's not like they're coming up onto the land and chasing us, are they? We're going into waters that we know they're there. We know they attack. Is it because of overfishing? Maybe. Or... The other thing that I saw as well is with the uh, Mauritius is they have dolphins. And don't dolphins kind of keep sharks away? I could be completely making that up, but I feel like I read that somewhere. Because like they kind of like poke them with their nose and stuff and they're just a bit of a nuisance. So the sharks would rather just stay away. So maybe that's why. Who knows? Now, having said all of that, will I be going to that island? Nah. Will I be getting into the water anytime soon? Nah. <laughs> no. I'm going to keep my feet planted safely on solid ground. <laughs> now, we always do joke around saying that I, I just need to get into the water with them and my fears will, like, go away. Who knows? Maybe someday I'll get in the water with these mysteries because, yes, I'm terrified of them, but I also find them so fascinating and beautiful. They just have a lot of teeth. It's true and they haunt my nightmares. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll have to see. But what are your thoughts? Would you like to visit the island? Have you ever swam with sharks? Do you like sharks? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you have any other interesting videos that you'd like me to watch, put them in the comments as well. And as always, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, smash that like button if that's what you're into, and I'll see you in the next video. Afro, dirty, then discus, 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 hurrah for messy colors, now ha ha ha.